Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. Today we are taking one of those templates that I showed you how to make last week on the how to make templates video. Um, it's the third option that I showed you how to do, which was basically just winging it, making it up as you go. Uh, it was the King Arthur crown is what I made uh, as far as the template goes, and it is modeled kind of after Monty Python and the Holy Grail's King Arthur character uh, and has the Florida Lee uh, design on the overlay and has kind of a conish top on the I guess you call it the crown it kind of is like a helmet slash crown uh, so today I'm going to try and build from that template and actually construct it I got some more of Ben Eady's foam chainmail in and thought I would put it to good use. So in the actual movie, he's got this gold chainmail that flows from underneath, and I'm just gonna attach it to the crown and make it all one piece. So today we are building King Arthur's crown from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Let's get to building. Here's the template that I made from the last video. You can go back and watch it if you would like more on how I got to this point. I add blue lines on the edges to let you know that those should have 45 degree angle cuts inward. I trace my pattern out on some six millimeter EVA foam and cut it out with a sharp blade on my box cutter. I brushed some contact cement on all the edges, let it sit for a second, and then tacked everything together. The assembly is relatively simple. You close up the dart and then the strip for the side of the crown and then join the two pieces together. On the template, the overlay pieces and the side piece are all one. After you've traced the side of the crown, cut out the floor de lis trim and trace that onto some four millimeter EVA. I start with the seam line in the back and work my way around the crown. Try your best to keep the bottom flush, but you can always go back and sand it if it gets a little off.
If I was to do this again, I would probably do this step before the previous and then put the floor delete overlay above this 18 millimeter half dowel. That way the tips of the overlay would come up a little higher than the crown side, like in the actual prop from the film. Sometimes I'm working quickly and don't realize I've made a mistake till it's too late. Here's Ben Eady's EVA foam chainmail. I've used it in two other builds before, my cyberpunk respirator and my Geralt's pauldrons from The Witcher 3. This is how they come. They are two millimeter foam sheets pre-cut that you have to pop out. You can use something to poke the holes out. I usually just crumble it up and knock out a majority of the holes and then bend right there around where the loops are for the rest of it. Assembly is pretty simple for the chainmail. Ben shows his technique on his website where he uses a crochet needle to pull them through each other and basically crochets chainmail. I just bend the circles in half and push it through the next row of circles. Once you get the hang of it, you can pretty much do it without even looking. I join two sections together to make a strip long enough to wrap around my ginormous head. I stagger the seams so I start with two full strips, then the next row will be a half strip, a full strip strip and then a half strip. That way it's not all running in bulk in one area. The thickness of the foam causes the chainmail to roll up on itself, so to get it to lay flat, you have to hit it with a blast of a heat gun. I use my one, two, three blocks to help weigh it down as I flatten it.
Instead of going straight across, I wanted it to have a curve on the backside, so I cut a small arch in it. To lock everything into place so that the new edge doesn't come out, I used some super glue and tacked down the chop circles with the full ones. This keeps them from just falling out. I realized that the actual crown would have been separate from the chainmail coif, but I didn't want to try and make the curved top to fit inside of the crown, so I just stuck it on the edges with some contact cement. I fold the mail in half and then start in the middle on the back side to position it how I want to. Two coats of Plasti Dip. Then for my paint job, I used some Platifex Armor Metallics to give it the shine. Once that's dried, I dirty it up with some black and brown washes. And then I go over everything again with some dry brushing over the top, all using plaid. And we are finished. Here is the end result. I really love this chain mail that Ben Eady puts out from Foam Armory. Um, it is definitely well worth the price, which is not very much at all. And a little bit actually kind of goes a long way. Um, I don't know exactly how many sheets I used here, but it really wasn't a whole long set of time to actually get this knocked out. I think I completed it over the course of maybe three or four hours uh, and I was just watching TV while I did it so it wasn't like there was anything strenuous about it but um, overall I'm pretty pleased with the way it looks maybe you'll try and make a crown yourself and impress your friends with your ability to just make what you want to make because that's how you roll as it should be maybe you'll get some and inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these, tell them, much props. I don't dare put on his uh, crown, do I? I shall. Do I look kingly? No. Peace out.